August 6, 1945. The Little Boy bomb is dropped on Hiroshima, killing between 80,000 and 160,000 Japanese civilians. Three days later, the Fat Man bomb is dropped on Nagasaki, killing an additional 60,000. Five years later, the U.S. government sends a Japanese-American doctor by the name of James Yamazaki to examine the F effects that the bomb had on children in the womb. He devotes his life to helping these kids who are branded as Pika babies and cast out. He writes about this in his autobiography, Children of the Atomic Bomb, which conveys the theme that although human nature is destructive, we can fight and overcome it to become more constructive people. The theme is made clear in the beginning of this book, which states, This is a story of striking juxtapositions, a snapshot of an American life, as it were, that captures in a single frame the racial prejudice in the United States, the horror of war in Europe, and the human impact of the atomic bomb. And yet, we read this brief personal account, chapter after church chapter, with a persistent sense of how decent and constructive the human spirit can be. This paragraph serves to introduce the theme by showing that through these tragedies, we still see how good humans can be. It shows how the world may be full of horrors, but how we are able to look past that and be optimistic enough that we see who is solving it and hold them up as a shining example of what a human is. The forward then shifts to James. There are compelling sub-themes here, captivating vignettes. Like thousands of other second-generation Japanese Americans, Dr. Yamazaki fought for his country while his parents were incarcerated behind barbed wire in now-notorious U.S. internment camps. The quote here shows how James is loyal despite being discriminated against. His parents are taken to a prisoner camp where that resembled those used for Jewish people in Germany at the time. They lost basic rights that they were guaranteed to under citizenship, such as the right to vote. These camps were also full of recruits that were ready to go, but were marked down to 4F after Pearl Harbor. Despite his parents being herded into inhumane conditions by his own government, he continues to fight for the U.S. up until he's captured at the Battle of the Bulge. This is not the only case where he gets wronged by the U.S. He records as he's leaving Nuremberg that, we were just able to escape the bombing of Nuremberg. The ones at the front of the prisoner line were safe, but some of the ones in the back were killed by American bombs. American fighters mistook us for German soldiers and began to open fire. During that strafing, I wondered if I would ever get home. One of his friends die in that bombing. He does not become bitter, though. He is able to accept the fact that he was shot of as an act of friendly fire, and that was a mistake. The second instance of how he fights destructive nature to be constructive is his work with the Pika babies. The Pika babies were kids affected by the bomb while still in the womb, being born with abnormalities such as smaller heads and mental retardation. In 1989, Yamazaki attends a meeting of the Pika mothers in which he explains why the kids turned out the way they did. He listens to their story and visits the monument around the area where, in some cases, 90% of the kids in each school died immediately or w within a month afterward. He attempts to connect with them and help through a world where they are discriminated against. He develops an emotional connection in which he strongly believes that these kids did not deserve to be casualties of a war they did not take part in. He is seen by the Japanese not as a foreign invader, but as someone who generally wishes to help them. The third experience in this theme is when Yamazaki and his team start to lobby to ban nuclear weapons tests. They use their research through the 1950s and 60s, but constantly get rejected by the great powers. Despite being up against the most powerful nations in the world, they keep gathering data and expanding upon their knowledge of the effects of nuclear fallout, not only in Japan, but the Marshall Islands. In his research, Yamazaki states that, quote, unquote, the Marshall Islands test couldn't have been more different. The bomb dropped had the power of 15 megatons of TNT, as opposed to the Hiroshima bomb with only 67 kilotons. The Marshall Islands bomb was also exploded at a lower altitude, sending large amounts of debris into the air and damaging the islanders. This expands upon the theme by demonstrating how James is willing to go up and fight the destructive forces to protect future populations from the nuclear test that leak radiation. He describes his position by saying, One obvious preventative step would have been to end the environmental radiation caused by nuclear weapons testing. To this day, 11,000 Americans have perished through direct results of nuclear fallout in test sites like those in Nevada. In Russia, 
not protecting similar technology has caused Chernobyl, which killed 985,000 people. Nuclear tests from China in the early 70s still affect the population today and are responsible for killing 194,000 people and giving 1.2 million enough to develop cancer and leukemia. In 1964, their attempts at lobbying were, are successful with the Nuclear Test Ban Treaty, which forbade the testing of nuclear weapons in all cases except underground. Human nature is naturally destructive. It is a primal instinct that humans cannot escape from. Although many choose to just accept it, there are some who fight against it. James Yamazaki is one of the few who do. His actions throughout this book demonstrate that in spite of adversity, destruction, and discrimination, you can still be a force for good. Will prove.